Uncle George. Uncle George? What you say, Uncle George? Hold on for you. You got a, you got a call in nature? Uncle George. Uncle George gone. Just what's wrong with this old fart? <laughs> hard own money to give you a social call. And he gone on another call. Who is this I hearing? Like the old man watering plants while the minutes on me calling card running out. <laughs> Uncle Jack, you come back. What call is more important than me calling from Guyana? Oh, yeah. You had to go to the bathroom. <laughs> Why you didn't tell me? You had to go and take a little PV. <laughs> Yeah, yes, Uncle George. But I, I don't want to hear the details about your bowel and your bladder, your bladder problem. I ain't a doctor and I can't help you with that. Besides, I just had my breakfast. No, no, Uncle George. I, I, I didn't say I know a doctor who could help you with your, your bowel and your bladder problems. Uncle George, turn up your hearing aid or you won't hear the good news. Yeah, you're hearing better. Yes, yes, your voice, your whole voice song as clear as Gobadan Falkak. <laughs> no, no, I, I ain't get there. I ain't get the contract to build a hydropower station under the Kaicho Falls. <laughs> Uncle George, I will have to wait at the back of a long line of smart men waiting to flip the way to get that contract. Mm -hmm. No, no, this news is not about business. It's about the pleasures of the flesh. <laughs> yes, Uncle Judge. I finally get a woman. Yes, a woman. <laughs> I find a woman by the fisherman wharf. <laughs> if I report the matter to the police, <laughs> Uncle Judge, Uncle Judge, <laughs> then I say I find a woman. I don't mean like the woman the last. Is she husband is the one who the last. Yes. The husband is a fisherman and he and the boat missing for year now. And nobody you know where he, where he disappeared to. The last person to see he was a Cuban doctor. What did the doctor say? The Cuban doctor probably tell you how to sail to America? You're right, Uncle George. You, in Cuba, you don't need a visa to go to America. All you need is a old tube and a, an old fridge. Of course, if people look for you, Uncle George, even the government concerned about you. The opposition parties tell the government to ask people for sending tender bids for a search and rescue <laughs> mission. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, one year is a long time. <laughs> he probably, like Columbus, he passed America. I must be heading for angel. <laughs> <laughs> How that man misfortune is good news. 
Uncle George, you should ask me how I find a woman. Since she husband, the last at sea, the lady buying fish and selling it by the cocoa. Uncle Judge, you know how I like my fish. <laughs> fish is good brain food. Every day, I get in free fish from the lady. And me and she start a good friendship when I tell she that I got relatives in America. What happened when the man come back? Forget about that, Uncle George. Ah, after one year, he must be sticking the ice at the North Pole. <laughs> <laughs> that is not a real problem. <laughs> the lady went to see a liar on Cole Street. And the liar tells she if he run away, that is called malicious, uh, malicious uh, abandonment. <laughs> you see, the two of them used to fight a lot. And the liar tells you that because they used to got so much a battle, the marriage was like a war. And he, the husband, he desert the war like a traitor. <laughs> yes. The liar tells she it is alright for she to get a new general. <laughs> You're damn right, Uncle Judge. You're talking to the new general, Stanislas. <laughs> yes. Stanislas. <laughs> Uncle Judge. Your boy going to the gym now, you know? To, 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 to up yes, the lady thick and solid man and I got to match up. Hey, you didn't see them pictures I sell you? My man look like Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> I look in good, eh? <laughs> when I intend to marry the woman, Uncle George, marriage it's a very expensive thing. That is why I want to talk to you. I, yes, yes, Uncle George. I, I know you ain't working now. Uh, you can't send a lot of money for me. But Uncle George, I don't want you to help me with money. Yes, yes. Me and my lady friend want to talk to you about your marriage. Yes, yes, yes. I know, I know you're not married right now, Uncle George. Yes, yes, Uncle George. I know you, you, you divorced two wives. Yeah, yeah, yes, Uncle George. But I want to help your nephew by marrying for the third time. <laughs> <laughs> it's fresh fish. The lady does get me. <laughs> that is why my brain's so sharp. <laughs> Sit down, and let me tell you this thing, Uncle George. Uncle George, I give you many years to find a nice American wife for me. And you never deliver on your promise. So now I got to take matters in my own hands. Yes. Yes, Uncle George. I want you to help me by, by marrying for the third time. <laughs> You see, Uncle George, my lady friend got a lovely young daughter living in America. And I tell she that you would be willing to marry she. <laughs> <laughs> you can't marry she. Uncle George, stop, stop thinking about yourself and think about your, your favorite nephew. Who you disappoint by not finding an American wife for, for ye? <laughs> Uncle 
fuck a judge. The girl is um, illegal in the States. And, and if you marry she, she can become legal. Judge, the girl don't want your pension or your money. All she need is your name so she can get your citizenship papers. What you say, Uncle Judge? You don't want no young lady living in you with you in your condom. <laughs> Uncle Judge, you, you got a you got a, a dirty old American mind. We don't want you to have any relations with the girl. Is that it? Too young to be sexy. <laughs> oh, you, you, you're living in a place called a condominium. I call it condo for short. I thought, I thought you said condo. <laughs> anyway, Uncle George. What marrying that girl got to do with me and my lady friend? Uncle George, when that lovely young girl gets your permanent papers, she can send for your mother, and then I would get a visa to live in America. You see the plan, Uncle George? You see the plan? Eh? Eh? So you got to do your part as an uncle and marry my lady friend Dato. Why, uh, if the girl is so, so lovely, why she can't get a husband? Uh, well, well, uh, Uncle George, the girl trying hard, hard, hard to get a, an, a, uh, Prominent American man to get to be a husband, but um, they can't blame she. She resembles your father, and he ugly like a paku fish. <laughs> Don't worry about age and immigration, Uncle George. You forget you's a ladies' man. You had two wives already. When you go to the immigration office. Walk with a picture of Donald Trump and you'd gain rich on your short. <laughs> Them is American politicians, and if they got three wives, what happened to you? <laughs> Go to bite you, Uncle George. You too old to get tangled up with marriage and immigration. Uncle George, that is why you should do this. This is not about helping me, Uncle George. This is about it's about helping you. <laughs> How that is helping you? Uncle George, when this girl gets your permanent papers, she will be living with you in your condom. And she will be able to, 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 to do things for you. Look. Cook for you. Wash your clothes. Answer the telephone and the doorbell when you're very hearing aid. And you are always complaining about not finding a job, even though you're only 70. Well, the young lady would be able to read the newspapers carefully and find a job for you. You self said that your, your eyesight failing you. Oh, good judge, you know how many job opportunities you lose because of your eyesight? You should seize this opportunity, Uncle George. When that young lady gets your permanent papers and she sponsor me and she mother, all of you would be living in your condom as one happy family. <laughs> Condo. At your advancing and increasing age, you need relatives around you. What you say, Uncle George? You ain't doing it? Uncle George, how you could make a decision like that when you know how it's gonna affect your nephew? 
Uncle George, what do you expect me to tell my lady friend now, Uncle George? You put me in an embarrassing position. <laughs> I ain't trying to put you in jail. Uncle George, marry somebody younger than you is not a jelly matter. Love is never a crime. <laughs> Uncle George, you're missing a chance to strengthen your family relationship. I give you an opportunity to become my own stepson-in-law and you turn <laughs> wondering about the dangers you go face with the American immigration if you marry this girl? What about the danger your nephew you gonna face? <laughs> I can still marry the woman if I love she. Who say anything about love? <laughs> okay. Uncle George, that is the arrangement we make. How I can marry the woman if me own uncle refused to marry your daughter? <laughs> Tell she you're too old to get involved in me, marriage. Uncle George, how do you expect me to break the news to the woman? She's a fisherman wife. She's a violent woman. And she no good out for you, a sharp knife and a, and a chopper. My being got no boat like she was going to sail away from shit. Judge, Uncle Judge, it's no, it's no good, Judge. Don't make any decision in his. Right? See the girl first before you decide she marry. Uncle Judge, this girl is beautiful, man. If you see she, all uh, 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 she got is a, a, a little cockeye and, and, and she foot a straw. Yes, yes, I guess she mother you, your number. She can call you at 7 o'clock tonight to make arrangements. So make sure, make sure you got on your ear and aid to hear when the phone ring. <laughs> but you say, Uncle George, you ain't picking up no phone. You ain't taking no call. You, you pulling out the phone card. You won't take any more call on this matter? Uncle Jack! Uncle... You know this dirty old man pull out this phone card and break this connection? Why are you going to tell this woman now? This old man put an end to all my dreams. Can't, can't tell she's dead. <laughs> Tell she that he gets so sickly that he's living in a nursing home. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> well, this can put an end to this relationship and I'll leave free fish I to get in. I hope she don't get violent and I give she the bad news. I better have a talk with a Cuban doctor and let you tell me how to get to Cuba. I got two tractor tubes in the, in the backyard. That would work as my visa from Cuba to America. <laughs> <laughs>